This video is all about focusing on those really short lash lengths. So for today's set, I'm working with a mix of B and L curl. B on the inner corner to about the middle of the eye where the eye starts to lift up and arch high. And then I'm gonna go into L curl where the eye starts to descend. The reason why I'm choosing B curl for the inner corner is because I want to soften the inner corner and roll with the natural arch of the eye. For the L curl, the reason why I've chosen that for the outer and middle part where the eye starts to descend is because that's gonna give me lift. So I'm creating a really nice cat eye effect by mixing B curl with L curl. But for my inner corners, because I do want it to be so soft, I wanna work with lengths five, six, and seven, which are very, very short lengths. So when working on the inner corner in general, it's quite challenging as a whole because the eyelashes kind of overlap one another, they're fine in there, and there's not as many layers, so you can really see mistakes. So particularly when working with five, six, or seven millimeter, even sometimes eight millimeter, if we are holding our extension quite close to the base, then it is gonna be nearly impossible to get our tweezer close enough into our isolated area to make that proper connection because the tweezer is gonna hit against all of the lashes around, especially if they're really close to one another. So we need to have clear isolation and a really big isolation in order to get that tweezer to easily sit in between. So we wanna hold closer toward the tip of our extensions. Now, the tip of our extensions for a five millimeter is like holding as close to the base as you possibly can for say, a 13 millimeter or something like that. So because we have no choice but to hold quite close, placing five, six, and seven millimeters can be really challenging, much more challenging than any other lengths. So especially for handmade volume, if I'm making my fan on command, it's really hard for me to then get in and wrap that lash around the inner corners. And usually the inner corner lashes as a whole, they're, they're kind of directed in funky ways and they're again hard to work with in general but particularly when working with those really short lengths so we're not really going to get a good wrap in there anyhow so instead of even bothering with making a handmade volume fan and attempting to wrap it around a lash what i find super helpful is to crystallize you can see my tray here i've crystallized my five six seven and eight millimeter lashes just so I can breeze through the inner corners without worrying about wasting a bunch of time on making that perfect connection and, and saving myself the frustration as well. So as you can see, I've used the Lost Artistry's empty pre-fan tray and I've made my fans just how I want them. And now I'm gonna use those fans as I would a pre-fan lash. I can hold just the tips of my extensions, which helps me so much when placing, because think about when we isolate. When we isolate closer to the base, the isolation is quite thin versus closer to the tips, we have more space. So ideally, we're gonna hold our tweezer as far away from the lash line as possible so that we have more room to direct, because once we get closer and we get into about the middle of the lash, we're gonna have to kind of maneuver around those extensions and work against them pushing against our tweezers. So crystallizing the fans really, really does help. If you need a video on crystallizing, we do have many videos. Just comment below and I can walk you through how to crystallize your fan. And when we crystallize our fans, we can focus more so on applying that lash really close to that lash line on the inner corners, 0.5 millimeters is ideal. And not only can we focus on that, but we can also focus on direction. And direction really is important, especially if our lashes aren't super dense in layers and lash count, which they normally aren't on the inner corner. So here's what five, six, and seven millimeter looks like once the set is complete. It is an amazing option, especially for clients who have finer lashes, those who are looking for, like I'm doing today, a really nice cat eye finish, five, six, and seven. And you don't have to use a lot of each length. Just using a few of each length will really bring your set together nicely and it'll allow you to get all the way to that inner corner without having to skip a few lashes along the way. It really complements a set and brings it to life 
so beautifully.